and welcome to this episode of Fun Fridays on the Afrocentrist Podcast. I am a the energetic EJ. So welcome. Of course, I'm not here alone. I'm here with my co-host on this segment. Hi, Ivan. Hi, EJ. Ejiro. Ejiro. <laughs> EJ, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hope you're doing great, Ejiro. I'm good. How are you? How is Ghana today? I so fine, baby. It's just that it rained today. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Hmm? Hey, yeah, I hope yeah, it wasn't yeah. flooded, Sha. Ah, well, we are praying. We are hoping so. <laughs> 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 yeah, but fine. We are all doing good. Yeah, I know Ghanaians don't like rain at all. Oh, you well, maybe, but <laughs> I mean, you can stop. You know that that's God's own thing. So yeah. we we can we just have to do our things right, so we don't have you know flat here and there. Yeah, mm. basically. <laughs> mm. I remember, I remember when I was still in Ghana. Oh my God, when it rains, you know, I think um, mm. Ghana has a lot of red sand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it gets really muddy and mushy. And so because of that, people don't really like it when it rains. Oh, but in fact, when it rains, we like the weather, you know, so cozy. Well, oh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, cool, mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> sure. How is my Nigerian age you're doing? How are you? How are Nigerians doing too? Uh, uh, how will I know how Nigerians are doing? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> hey. It's, it's not your country, people. You should know. <laughs> Please, can we not go there? <laughs> exactly. All right, all right, all right. So, all right, so each just flow, just flow. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure Nigerians are doing good. I mean, Nigerians, we are survivors. Like, exactly. as tough as life can be, we are, we are very adaptive in nature. So mm-hmm. we'll always find, um, we'll always find, you know, something to make us happy, even in the midst of tough times. So that's one thing I love about Nigerians, anywhere they are. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Also like that too. No wonder we, we gel like that. Niger, Ghana. Oh, you know, we are two, we are two sweet people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you say so, I could argue, oh, yeah. but it's no problem. <laughs> all right mm-hmm. all right so um welcome to today's episode i mean we've said it just in already but that's okay so welcome to this segment called fun friday it's a pleasure to have you here and we hope that you've had a great week if not well that's why we're here to make you laugh some so that as you segue into the weekend you're not going frowning your face like frowning does not help you okay please try and smile i know sometimes our jokes might be dry but exactly that's the point even if they are dry jokes our point or our mission here is to make you laugh okay so try and put a smile on your face <laughs> so if you have enjoyed any of our content so far on the afrocentrist podcast please do remember that you can now support the work that we do here. Putting out content like this, creating content like this takes a lot. And so we are asking for your support if you're able to do that. And you can do that by clicking on the link in the description of this episode, all right? On whatever platform you're listening to it from, whether that be Spotify or Anchor or um, Google Podcasts or Stitcher or Apple Podcasts, or if you are watching, you know, the audiogram on youtube okay so all you need to do is go to the description you see a link that says buy me a coffee all right so you can buy us a coffee right so that we're able to produce more amazing content and also you can send us feedback by sending us an email to the at gmail.com telling us what you want us to talk about especially on this fun segment and also if you want to feature on this fun segment that is you'll be in the studio with us while we are recording and you're able to tell us okay what exactly you know are going to be a part of the discussion so don't shy away if you have any interesting topic that you want us to talk about and that you want to also contribute to you can also reach out to us to be a part of our segment all right so let's dive into the matter today today we're going to food we are talking about food <laughs> ninja versus ghana mm. but not like <laughs> the way you are expecting because now when i said food now the next thing that somebody will think is jollof rice no that's not what we're doing today <laughs> what we want Ghana. to talk about today is just you know i'm going to ask um ivan like she's been to nigeria before at least she's visited once you know before and she has eaten 
some Nigerian food. So she's going to, I'm going to ask her like, okay, what was her best food in Nigeria? Let's go, Ivan. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is Miss Voice of Africa from Ghana. Thank you for joining us on the Fun Friday show on the Afrocentrist podcast. Thank you all so much. So I like that bit, um, what you mentioned, the coffee, yeah? They should be buying us coffee, or, you know, to fire us up always. All right, so with the food, hmm, you know, we all need food. I mean, I know every country, you know, um, you, they've got their food. Of course, food helps us. Food makes us healthy. It makes us stronger. Yeah, you know, so we can juggle our daily um, activities, okay, for productivity. So when I go to Nigeria, hmm, the food, interesting. I know one called Semu. I don't know if it's Semu or Samu. Isemu, you, don't, isemu. Isemu. <laughs> you know, there is this, uh, I think one is brown, one is white. Okay, and the it's brown okay. one, the brown yeah. one is either wheat or amala. So which one is it? Seriously, I don't know. All I know is me. When I get, when I get to my hotel, all I know is, okay, please, um, I want, I'll just take the brown, the white, and then I know I'm, I'm eating. <laughs> then I go for my, uh, my, my, is it a vegetable stew or um, soup? Mm-hmm. I don't know the difference. It's vegetable soup for us. I know you people call soup stew, but we call it what? soup. Okay, so our soup, our soup is, you know, the watery, the watery. Yeah, type. you, exactly. You you call watery um, soup soup. Well, oh, okay. but call hmm. the thick, the thick one stew. But for us, all is soup. So vegetable oh. soup, a goosey okay. soup, a dika okay. soup, then pepper mm. soup. Mm. Pepper soup is our oh. only watery soup, actually. Okay, okay, okay. So with ours, ours is soup. Like, I mean, soup is soup. You know, the watery, the one that comes like... I'm not saying water, but like, you know, you get me, right? Mm-hmm. And the stew is, <laughs> the stew is due. <laughs> so we will come to Ghana. So basically, yeah, the Amala, the A-R-M, oh, the name, you have some meat. Oh, what's the name of that meat? Ija, I mentioned it to you, forgotten. Which one is meat again? Meat is meat. Now, is it uh, Inuero or is it Oreshi Oreshi? Eforiro. Okay, so so Amala, um, um, Eba. I don't know if they're all the same, but me, all I know is I enjoy it because it's basically the same thing we eat in Ghana. Okay, it's not the same we thing. Have, we also have Eba. Isn't it the same thing? Well, well, yeah. okay. Do you you have Eba, right? That actually, she yeah, we have Eba. Eba. Mm. Yeah, Eba. It's just that you know. Um, yes, we have a bag. We, we don't have some more. We ours is that we just use the gari, okay, with hot water. But like I'm saying, let me finish with the Niger people. I'll come to us. Yes, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Really, I did. Anytime I go to my hotel, I mean, when it's time for breakfast or whatever, lunch, I don't worry myself for eating. I don't worry myself eating rice for the way for what now? Eh, I've traveled to Nigeria to eat rice. No way. I want to, you know, enjoy their, you know, their local, you know, the the real food like that. And I like the egusi. E- What's the egusi? The the one that comes, the one that the slimy one. What's no, the that's that okra. One? That's okra. Or obono. Bon, good. Those ones. I really enjoyed myself. Seriously, I don't know, but that's I mean, good. I, oh yeah, I did. I did. That's I did. And so, um, I mean, like I said, so we're talking about food, you know, some people don't also like to eat. It's bad, though, people. We all, you know, looking for money and all that. But hey, have time to eat. Something I wanted to say when you were saying that you have mm. traveled all the way to Nigeria. So why would yeah. you be eating rice? Exactly. Like I, I, I laugh at people and I cringe sometimes when people travel and they are looking for their local food. I'm like, why did you travel in the first place? <laughs> You should, Can you, imagine? you should you should eat the food of where you have traveled to. It's part of the travel experience. People will not experience. come travel all the way from their own town. They will not be looking oh, for no, their no, own no, local no. food. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't get my, my food. There because the, you see, the whole thing is that, Egypt. I know I have traveled from Ghana to Nigeria. And of course, I will get something like, you know, the soup and the stew. But it wouldn't necessarily mean... It, it, it's my, I mean, I'm eating the fact that I have that, 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 that type of thing you have there in my hometown. I would like to try yours. Okay. Because I know, I know if I come home, I will get mine to eat. 
So why wouldn't I experience? Why wouldn't I have that experience? I mean, like you said, it's all part of the traveling experience. So I, I feel it's good when people travel, hey, you know, the fun should actually involve everything, you know, the food you eat. I mean, take risk so that if you eat Ogbono uh, and you start running, I mean, that one would be your own cup of tea. You. <laughs> but that's why when you are traveling, you you also prepare. You have your Imodio, you have your fly yeah. gel, exactly. in case of inquisity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In case of in case it's, that's very true. <laughs> Except the only thing that you can be okay, very careful of is if you're allergic. <laughs> but if it's yeah. not allergy, like explore, eat the food mm-hmm. of the land, enjoy exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> African. It's actually a process, you know, of us learning to because I mean, as Africans, we should be proud of our food. I mean, even if you travel to you know wherever the UK, America, and all those places. We have, you know, African places or Ijama line. We have Africa. So, you know, don't try to, you know, always eat the foreign food. No, feel free and eat your African, you know, with the whites. Even if they see us do our own thing. You know, they are very excited seeing us eating, you know, all those things. They, they also want to try, you know. But sometimes, I mean, Ghanaians or wherever, Africans will try to shy away from all those things. So when you well, travel... If for if for me personally, if I go to if I go to the UK for example, I want to eat what the UK people eat. Like, what is their continental dishes? Because I know okay, I'm oh. coming from Africa, I've eaten African food before. Do you get mm-hmm. what I mean? That's what I mean. So if I go to France, I know that I'm going to be eating a lot of bread, baguette, and all the all whatever it is that they eat. So that's what yeah. I you know that's what I want to experience. Oh. What do they eat? You know things like that. But for me. For Ghana. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm done with Nigeria. Tell me. You know, Ghanaians have a lot of delicious food. You know that? The fufu and the abenkwai. Do you know abenkwai? You know abenkwai? I don't know abenkwai, please. Palm nut. You people say palm nuts. Palm nut palm nut soup. Oh, okay. So, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> palm nut soup with fufu. Oh, my goodness. EJ, yeah. it's so... Fufu with light soup. You know, light soup. We have... um. You know, we have what we call kako, momone, chale, those things in where you mix them and you prepare your soup. Mm, EJ, <laughs> in fact, I don't know. I think one of these days I have to invite you to Ghana again and try all those things. I'm sure you didn't try them when you came. I didn't come to Ghana, babe. I lived in Ghana. So we lived in Ghana. That's very nice. That's very nice. Mm-hmm. So, okro, G8 fufu with, you know, any of the soups. What did you eat? How did you see or find our food? Well, I think I liked, um, I didn't eat much as well. Like, okay. I know I did not try, um, there's this, there's this one that is called Fonine. But anyways, the ones I tried, I tried Fufu and Light Soup, Fufu and Palm Nut Soup. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Banku and Tilapia. Kenke. You enjoyed it. You did. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. We were living there. No, I don't have a choice. I have to enjoy it. Uh-uh. I bet. Like, it's a point. <laughs> Uh, Kelewele. Oh, I love oh. Kelewele. Oh my goodness. Then you I enjoyed love, it. I love Tombra. I love Coco. Mm. Coco and Kose. Um, mm. Coco and Granite. <laughs> like, it's just weird. Mm. Like, <laughs> you see the delicious things we have here. Excuse Chapel. you. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you too. <laughs> Don't try Ghana, you? Hmm. <laughs> you know, and we also have the. Um, the local, you know, drinks. We have um, Asan. We have um, Lemuji. I mean, so, so many of them. So well, nice. I don't know about the drinks. I don't know much about drinks. Um, I'm not sure I explore drinks, though. I don't know. Except yeah. apart from Coco and the rest, I don't think so. <laughs> and Zobo. 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 We take Zobo every week. Yeah. In church, so every week. week. Mm-hmm. You see every week. See the way I say it. You enjoy. You enjoy Ghana. So, 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 so. No, I did. I did. I did. I, I, yeah. I, I like the way it's a bit more relaxing than it is in yeah. Nigeria. But mm. at the end of the day, they are a bit too relaxing to an extent. Like it's only in Ghana mm-hmm. that you enter mm-hmm. into a store. And the person in the store will not come out to you and ask you what you want to buy until you are you you say, Oh, please, I want to buy something. Then they will not attend to you. I'm like, I don't understand. In Lagos, oh, even if you are passing. Aggressive. They will call you. Come. What are, what do, are you looking for? Something? <laughs> oh, oh, Ghana, we do. Well, I don't know. Probably, I don't know the part you wear, but we do. Ghanaians do that too. We also do that. Ah, they are too, they, yeah. They're very chill. Yeah. But it's okay. 
but what you also said is actually a good thing. I'm sure if anybody listens to this, they would also, you know, learn from it. Because, I mean, it's business. If you are selling something, don't sit down for, you know, me to come to you. Be aggressive. I mean, it's all about money, right? So... I think it's a good point there. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Anyways, guys, I hope that you have learned about food from Ghana and from Nigeria. So in case you are visiting Nigeria, and if you're not Nigerian, you're listening to this, if you're visiting Nigeria, so you know some food to look out for. I know I didn't mention a lot, but we have more. You see, Ivan only mentioned some swallows. Like we had, we have yam porridge. We have mm. um, a, a dikai con soup. Oh my goodness, it's nice. What was that? Like I like the name. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a mix of vegetables. Oh, okay. Mm. And yam porridge. Wow. Africans, we are we are really blessed. Yeah? Yes, we are. Mm. We are. So yeah, we have a lot of soups because the soups are by tribes. So okay. Yoruba people have the vegetable foriro, egusi, mm-hmm. okra, um begiri, and we do. Then in the okay. Igbo parts, we have um, Nsala, Oha, Onubu. Okay, okay, okay. okay. My, yeah, so plenty of soups. Then we in the north, I'm tea. sure they have theirs. AJ, we also have teaser, what we call teaser, Tozafi and their soup. It's so nice and so healthy. It's it's green soup, green soup and, you know, some um, stew, like the normal tomato stew, but mm-hmm. it's green soup. It's for teaser, Tozafi. So when you come to Ghana next time, ask of that don't worry i'll actually do that myself i no would serve you and you are going to enjoy it no problem i'm coming when you invite me again i'll come okay <laughs> i'm waiting for you come now come <laughs> <laughs> i know you're telling me come like nigeria you said me to say yeah. come eh? <laughs> come now. and then you're gonna eat this thing you just hey, say, yo. <laughs> nigerians won't kill us <laughs> Uh, what's it then? It's what's it then? What's it then? What's it then? I show me who you. Who you? All right. Okay, yeah. guys. I hope that you've learned one or two things from the two cultures and when it comes to food. Um. So yeah, go try them out if you are in Ghana and you are visiting Ghana. Try out these meals or these delicacies. And if you are visiting Nigeria, try out these meals and delicacies. Um. But one of the things that I just want to leave you with is when you travel. Please enjoy the culture of where you are going to. Don't, mm-hmm. I mean, I know some people are really scared. Maybe they are very particular about, you know, their, their stomach or, or allergies. If you are, if unless it's allergies, but if not, really, I don't think you should um, um, block, you know, just tap yourself and just stay with the familiar. Like Ivan says, take risk. And risk is part of just... Tasting the food of the land, knowing what it tastes like and things like that. I think that's what, those are some of the things that really make the experience worthwhile for you when you travel. So that would be my last word for you. What's your last word, Ivan? Right. So this is Miss Voice Over Africa again. So what I would also say is that, hey, food is good. And when you travel, okay, have fun. You know, the fun is, it, it covers everything. Try so many things, you know, in, in that country you find yourself. But don't forget the food. Because probably if you come to Ghana, you didn't get that food you, you find there. So try, you know, experience it. Whatever happens, you know, it would all be part of the fun. When you come to, you know, Ghana or wherever your country is, you tell them that, hey, hey, yeah, uh, Nigerians will say, hey, yeah, it wasn't easy. When I went, I went to eat some food. Then what happened to me? It's fun. I mean, try, take a risk. It's all part of life. Yeah. Thank you, EJ. And um, guys, thank you all for joining us. We hope you had fun. I mean, and you learned something. All right. Thank you, guys. So we'll come your way again next week with another fun topic. Remember, you can always reach out to us by sending us an email to beafrocentrist.gmail.com, telling us something that you would like for us to jump on or to talk about, and also informing us if you'd like to be a part of the conversation. All right. And remember, you can buy us a cup of coffee by visiting the link that will be attached to this episode so that you can just click on the link that says buy me a coffee dot com forward slash the afrocentrist so that you can support the work that we do here thank you so much we'll be back again next week with another fun topic this is the energetic ej signing out bye bye and this is miss voice